What's up, Aloha Heavy Metal people? It's John, Heavy Metal Garage and Gym. So I want to do just a quick take video here. So uh, real quick, uh, so I'm in Hawaii and I got to take a real road bike out for the first time today. Uh, rented this one from the bike shop in Kailua. This is a specialized diverge. So it's a gravel bike, a little bit different than a road bike. It's not a mountain bike. It's kind of that in-between. The DNA mostly comes from the road bike side, which is why you see drop bars uh, and fatter tires on a road bike, but not full mountain bike tires. They are smooth, they're not knobby tires. Uh, but took it out as a gravel today. That ride is posted up on Strava if you want to see. Uh, had a great time today, but gravel riding is different, right? Um, it's loose. You got to be careful. Uh, control the speed on your descents because the surface is very, very loose. So uh, something a little bit different. Couple features. It's got disc brakes. Obviously, very powerful on the hills down here. So did a good bit of climbing today. So disc brakes kind of give you that confidence to, that you'll be able to stop, which is nice. Um, what are some of the other features right here? So. It's actually got a future, it's got a shock. They call this specialized calls, but it's the future shock. So it actually gives you a little bit of cushion in the headset there. Uh, I'm not sure if I like it that much. Honestly, the headset just feels loose. It feels like a loose road bike headset. Shimano 105 group set. This uh, looks like a 40 tooth cassette in the back. It was great. I hit some super steep hills today, so I love having the extra gear to climb with. Uh, got my Wahoo head unit and my uh, Garmin barrier ra uh, tail light on it. So the radar tail light kind of tells me if there's cars coming up behind and it flashes aggressively at them uh, when it detects cars. It's, it's spot on. It tells you, it, it starts tracking cars like 100 meters back, sometimes a little bit further. It's really, really a good system. Uh, very valuable safety improvement and it shows all the info right up in the front of my specialized hard rock. So again, Shimano 105 group set. Uh, disc brakes. It's got the internal cables. I can't tell if they're slapping, but something sounds kind of loose on the bike. Uh, also, I took a flat on the front. That was kind of annoying. And then the bike shop supplied me with a Schrader valve pump, which doesn't work on the freaking Presta valves there. So, fortunately, I got a CO2 cartridge on there. I'm going to give that a shot tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to go put a few more miles on this thing. Uh, probably ride out around outside of base. Go uh, hit a Kailua town, probably Lani Kai, but uh, go get amongst some mountains there. Maybe if I can find a gravel path or two, uh, I'll get after it. But again, gravel bike, a little bit different. You see that it's got the drop seat states here. This kind of gives you a little more compliance. The bike geometry is different. Um, I use my clip-in pedals, so I, I brought these because, of course, why not? Um, just a great bike, though. So again, rented it from the bike shop in Kailua. Uh, it was just a really good afternoon to go take a bike out. So I'm gonna do the same thing tomorrow. I'm gonna to get off base and go out through Kailua town and everything else like that. So if you're following me on Strava, you're gonna see that ride live. Uh, and yeah, so anyways, uh, that's just my first take on gravel, super sketch, right? So you're sliding all around, a little bit different experience than a traditional road bike. So um, anyways, good fun, specialized diverge, shredding amongst some gravel. So good times today. Last thought on that, it actually behaves pretty well on road. So if you're wondering like, yeah, this thing is built for gravel, but it also handles really nicely on the road. It's, that group set is fine. Again, you don't really pay any penalty with those wider tires. They roll just as smooth. Some, some even say they roll a little bit smoother. You know, aerodynamics are just about there anyway. So it shares most of the DNA. Uh, another feature, actually, it's got through axles, so it doesn't have those quick release skewers to pop the wheels off. So if you don't have a multi-tool, you cannot take the wheel off. Uh, they do that because disc brakes are kind of hard to locate, so um, that's why they do that. But it's something a little bit different. If you're used to just popping that quick release to take the wheel out, you can't do that on this. You got to actually have a multi tool to take the wheel out because it's got a little recessed hex hex head in there. Both front and back are the same way, so a couple little differences there. Not a big deal. These are also cable disc brakes as opposed to hydraulic disc brakes. So they're not quite as powerful. Hydraulic disc brakes are the most powerful brakes you can have. The cable discs, I had no issues with them, although I still don't trust them because this is a rental bike. So I gotta kind of go through some things with the bike before I learn to trust it to descend at high speed. So I'm not quite there with this bike yet. Maybe by tomorrow, I'll let you know. Uh, anyways, just a quick update video, hope you enjoyed it. John signing out, thanks for watching.